Hello everybody! Today I will be showing you how to groom a dog at home and how I groom Percy. Let's dive in! The first thing I always do is brush him out. I use a double sided brush. One side has pins and one side has bristles. I find this useful because you can use it on many different coats and many different parts of the body. The main reason I brush him out before I give him a bath is to keep his fur from tangling worse from after the bath. You're going to want to hit all those areas, especially behind the ears, on the tail, and on the legs, because those places are far more prone to tangling than the other places. I usually use the pin side to get rid of the tangles first, and then I use the brush side to spread the oils to keep the coat from becoming dry and brittle. Oh, and don't forget about the chest fluff, that's important too. I use Tropiclean's Whitening Shampoo. I love this brand of shampoo because it washes out so easy and it does its job and brightens the coat. Not to mention it smells amazing. The first thing you're gonna do, of course, is to get your dog wet. I usually work in sections. This way, by the time you're done shampooing one section, you don't have to re-wet the other section. I usually put the shampoo directly on the dog and then lather it up from there. After that, I usually spread the lather throughout the dog and wet it so it's easier to spread. Make sure to get every part of the body and scrub well. I usually let it sit for a while to let the cleaning do its job and to let the smell set in. Did you know that we have an Instagram? If you like Percy and would like to keep up with him more, then please follow us there. We try to do daily updates on our story. This way you'll never miss a beat. Once you're done playing with your dog's hair, it's time to rinse the shampoo out. It's important that you wash off all the soap because you don't want it to set up in your dog's fur and irritate it. Lucky for me, this soap washes out super well so I don't have to worry about constantly running water through his fur to make sure it's all out. Now that you're done with bathing your dog, it's time to dry your dog. Or if you're Percy, dry yourself. I usually help him out at towards the end to make sure he's dry before we start trimming. Once your dog's coat is nice, fluffy, and dry, it's time to brush them out one more time to make sure those tangles haven't set in during the bath. Once again, make sure to hit all the places like the ear, the chest fluff, the legs, and the tail. Now that you know that your dog is dry and he's tangle free, it's time to start trimming. What I do on the back legs is brush all the hair on the lower half of the leg straight up. After that, I make sure to cut straight up along with the fur. This way, the fur looks nice and neat and trim on the back legs. I will usually do this two or three times to make sure that all the fur that was standing up is now cut and trim. What I'm doing here is grabbing the long hair on the legs and putting it together and straightening it out. Once it's straightened out, cut the part that's sticking out right there. 
This keeps the fur from touching the ground and keeps it clean. It also results in a nice clean cut that doesn't look choppy. And last but not least, everybody's favorite part, trimming the hair between the feet. It's always important to trim the hair between the feet so your dog doesn't slide around and end up getting hurt. My only tip for this is to be very careful and very patient. And voila, there you go. A nice, trim, good smelling dog. Oh, and one more thing. Don't forget to give your dog a treat for being such a good boy. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.